Greetings and salutations, my fellow God Eaters. My name is Eddie, and I'm bringing you another God Eater 2 Rage Burst video. And in this one, we are going to talk about the power of blood. That sounds cool, doesn't it? I know, it's awesome. And in God Eater 2, there are three basic but ever expanding abilities. Blood Arts, Blood Bullets, and finally Blood Rage. And I'm going to discuss briefly with you guys what these abilities are and how you unlock them, how you make them stronger, and how you can use them to your advantage. I do want to say first from the jump, these abilities may not uh, upgrade for you right off the bat, but I will say this, the higher your difficulty, the easier it is to level all three of these abilities up. Uh, blood Arts. It's really pretty much this, just this. Yeah, pretty much at some point while grinding the beginning of the story for this game, you will get Blood Arts and you'll learn Blood Bullets. But Blood Rage, well, that won't come in until later on in the game's story. But for Blood Arts themselves, you pretty much just level it up. You see that little blood symbol over in the lower left corner? Every time you attack an origami with any kind of weapon attack that isn't maxed out, you'll level that up. And you can actually go in and see how well you level it up in your loadout. The same deal almost applies for blood bullets. Let's say there's a particular gun that you fancy. Well, if you really like that weapon, you're going to use it a lot. And the more and more that you use it, the more and more blood arts, well, rather blood bullets, you'll learn for it. For example, like the sniper can get ultra range, and that's just a, just a very basic example of what I mean. The more you use it, the more you level it up. The harder the origami, the, the easier it is, there we go, to actually level up that blood bullet. See, in Enrage Burst, at a certain point you're gonna unlock the ability to do Blood Rage thanks to Lika, but in the game, they give you a very generic explanation on how to do it, but a more advanced way of knowing. The Oracle Cells in your God Arc go bananas. And depending on your actual blood arts depends on the type of pledges that you can get for blood rage. You, you know, there's the basic ones like, hey, break a bond, or hey, uh, do X amount of damage, or, you know, get a devouring or anything like that. But depending on the blood arts that you have for your weapon, for example, I'm using a long blade in this clip. A special one for the zero stance one is make 20 enduring blade hits in a row, which means, practically means, hey, uh, do a zero stance combo for 20 hits and that's a special pledge that comes with the blood art that comes with the long sword so that's another way of adding into and you know making your gameplay your own and i never even got to what blood rage does in a nutshell what it does is it makes you stronger it increases your health it lowers your aura core usage it lowers your stamina usage it just makes you godlike pretty much adding on you're also invulnerable in this state you can take no damage uh, origami will actually just bounce off of you. Oh, and depending, I forgot to add this on, adding on, uh, depending on how many pledges you make depends on how long your blood rage actually lasts. So while getting more pledges is more difficult, if you are actually able to complete it, you can most definitely have a very long lasting blood rage. And this is probably the part of the video where you guys are probably thinking, but hey, uh, Eddie, what blood arts do you use? Doesn't matter. You use what you want. That's the beauty of it. Any blood art that you decide you want to use is a great choice. You know what I mean? There is no wrong answer, and that's what I really like about it. And now we have reached the end of this video. I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, a general overview. Blood arts. Use your weapon. Doesn't matter what blood art you use. It's all good. Blood bullets. You use your gun. The more difficult it is, the easier it is to level it up. Blood Rage, you go Super Saiyan, pretty much. You go Ape Shit, you kill everything. Yeah, that is about the gist of it. And um, that is, that's it. My name is Eddie. Thank you for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, leave a like if you want. Subscribe if you want. If you have any ways that you can make my next video better, I appreciate it and leave it in the comments.